you didn't see that first bit. That was just me um, not thinking straight. Hello everybody, Steffi here from The Makers. Um, how are you all? Sorry, I just, uh, it's been... Okay, I think you can see me now. If you, if you saw a little glimpse of me just beforehand, then um, hopefully it's all, it's all good now. Um, yes, well, how are you all? Um, it's, God, did I actually think today, 5th of January on YouTube live, did I actually think if you told me that last year in December, here we are again, starting from the beginning. And um, it's been a funny morning w waking up this morning to the news that um, we're going into national lockdown again. So if you're watching this any time later in the future, you will all have the wisdom of the hindsight that uh, we don't have yet. But um, I think it's fair to say that we are definitely um, hanging in there, waiting for the end um, to be near and um, start our lives in a normal sense again. But it's a good job we have got our needle felting and we've got our live streams and we've got other crafts. Um, February, in fa February, in fact, is all about doll making and we're really looking forward to this. But today is the most exciting day because today is the unwrapping of the subscription boxes and it still fills us with, um, with pleasure to, uh, to be able to do this. So we have got here our owl, that's the main maker's box. We have got our love fairies and we have got our surprise box which of course is sitting here on the shelf all wrapped up because you're not allowed to look inside um, but i will tease you enough to uh, whet your appetite of course let's just have a quick look who is here today with us um, emma is at the other end supporting the makers and um, i'm i do apologize for being late um, but um, we have got oh new people i don't recognize some of these um, names Suze, we've got uh, we've got Fanny and Pamela and um, Michael, Diana, Margot, Lizzie, Jane, Sandra, Claire. Um, just everybody's chatting away because I've been late. Siobhan, Bridget. So we've got um, people from the opposite um, end of the continents. So we've got Australia and we have got America represented and of course um, lots of people from Europe too and um, Laura, Claire, Rachel. Rachel is there with Daniel. Hi Daniel, Happy New Year to you too. Um, Maggie, um, Erica, probably said that already. Lots of you. Thank you very much for tuning in today. You've had a sufficiently long break to um, maybe be all um, fresh and inspired again. Now the big news is that Sophie has had her baby. She actually managed to have it on our Christmas, um, socially distant Christmas party on the 18th of December. We were um, all together um, having a good time and, um, and we heard the news in the morning that she had gone into labor and then in the afternoon she gave birth to a little baby girl called Sersha. I'm still trying to get my head around that name, but um, it is Irish and it I think it means freedom and liberty. So that's definitely something um, that we all aspire to and want, um, especially from the situation at the moment. So it's a it's a fitting name and everybody um, is, is well. So I saw her just before Christmas and she's absolutely gorgeous. I just want to cuddle her and get my hands on her but of course I can't because we have to stay away from each other I love babies so it's probably why I had four it's just that they grow up and then they're not so cuddly anymore oh there's lots more of you um two Catherines one with a k and one with a c um Liz is there lots and lots of you but I don't want to um leave you hanging in the lurch for too long because you all come here today to watch um the uh, makers boxes unwrapped and of course you will know that we are going to um re um watch this whole um stream today on Facebook which is usually the Thursday after the Tuesday so today is the 5th of um January 2021 and we're re-watching this in two days time um on um, Thursday the 7th of January at 7 p.m. on our Facebook page The Makers which is spelled with double S um, this one here 
with double S. And if you haven't found our Facebook um, page yet, it is actually our pe our name is at themakers.co.uk. So it looks like a like a web address, but it's actually our Facebook name. That's also useful to know if ever you are tagging us on Facebook. If you type in the makers with two S's, other people come up. But if you put .co.uk at the end of it and you tag us, then um, only we come up and you will always recognize us with that brightly colorful rainbow um, uh, logo that we have around our name. Right, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the owl and I've got a bit of a surprise because Sophie, before she went off on maternity leave, she um, this is Sophie's project, the owl that she has made before she left. And she actually video, videoed, um, recorded um, the um, help for you to do the legs. So I will, you will see Sophie, but she, it's not life. It's um, from the past going in the, into the future, as she um, called it. And she will show you how to make the legs. Now, this owl is pretty much life size, I would say. Um, it's, um, it's amazing, really is. It's, a, it's got a beautiful face. Look at that. Everybody loves that. The wings have got beautiful detail. There is a bit of a knack that um, you make the wings using water soluble paper. So you have, uh, they're nice and stiff using the, um, the, the fabric stiffener in the water soluble paper when you dissolve the paper and it gives you a really firm surface to needle felt onto and do these beautiful decorations on the wing um, whilst keeping the wing nice and nice and thin so you don't have um, um, too big a wing sitting there. And um, I'm just going to open the maker's box up. I've got my overhead camera so you can see this um, a little bit closer up. Just bear with me. There we go. So that's the maker's box. Um, if you have received the boxes before, you know that they come in a red envelope unless you have added lots of extra bits to your maker's box, which of course you can do. You can add to the subscription and then you don't have to pay the postage. You always get um, our newsletter in every order, every parcel. It gives you the news of the month that um, um, the order has been made or um, sent out in. It's January 2021. And you have always got the um, the um, a free instruction on our newsletter. So this month it's the bobble hat. The bobble hat, of course, because we're doing um, the polar bear as a... Uh, live stream over the next three weeks starting on Tuesday next week and he needs a bobble hat to he keep his ears warm of course but you can use these bobble hat um, hats for all kinds of creatures that you've already made no doubt remember our subscription boxes are um, free of uh, con any contract you do not have to sign up and then stay with us forever and ever you can unsubscribe anytime you can skip boxes if there's a project that you can't manage um, because you haven't got the time or you haven't caught up yet or maybe you just don't like it you don't have to like everything and um, and you can unsubscribe anytime you can skip the boxes you can change the payment date so if you prefer it to be on a different different time of the month then you can do that too you can change your address in there and the payment method as well and um, you get extra perks if you are a subscriber you can uh, use the sub club um, code and it gives you this month in january gives you 20 percent off on the ryland slivers um our earth friendly felting mat which is a, a definite must and uh, you get wooden feet and standard core and stuffing butts um as a, at a discounted price as well we always tell you in our newsletter what's coming next and on this occasion it's the uh, the little um valley sheep with a lamb they're about that size so they're they're quite um small and you get to make a mum and um, a baby, or maybe it's a dad and a baby, whatever takes your fancy. Then you have got um, in the box the uh, very, very clear instructions, which always, all of our instructions have got the tape measure here on the right, on the left hand side, because we work in centimeters. But if you're an inches person, then don't despair. You're all um, looked after by having the tape measure on that side which repeats on every page as well. You've got um, the materials are always listed here on the front. So if you want to make another one, you can just literally buy the materials according to this list here. Um, and, um, and then you've got the step-by-step -step photos um, with instructions written underneath. Um, takes you all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. 
um, and we you can um, you also learn how to make the legs this is the bit that Sophie will be explaining shortly and then you get also templates um, in our project where they are needed so um, they're all here for you to um, start out people often say oh I'm not sure if it's not too complicated I won't be able to do it the best tip I can give you is start at the beginning don't even look at the last page start at the beginning let us take you through it step by step now this box comes with a lot of white wool it's our Shetland because it's a beautiful um, white wool that is so easy to sculpt with and then it has got the different brown shades that you will need to make these um, very intricate designs here on the wing and um, again don't worry about what, um, getting flustered how you might be um, doing this just let us help you take us um, let us take you through it and you you will manage to do it and then you get the wire for the legs you get the eyes which um, are our um, black glue in eyes this is the largest uh, size that we do nine millimeters and they're little glass heads on top of a pin really easy to use and of course you need the water soluble paper which is in there you always get a free sample with everything that you buy from us and um, on this occasion it's our standard core stuffing and um, I don't know I, I, I want to now just go on to the video now this is the first time that we're actually showing a pre-recorded video on um, on our live streams so I'm keeping my fingers toes toes legs everything crossed um, just to make sure that it's actually gonna work because we've not done this before so I know that you will probably um, see it okay I'm not sure you will hear it but Emma is gonna be the first to give me feedback and if it doesn't if it doesn't work we have already got that video ready to go onto um, our YouTube channel so that um, it's a tutorial that you can rewatch anytime without me waffling and doing all the bits around so the leg tutorial for the owl will be on um, will be separate to this whole video on YouTube as well and you can search for it specifically so before I uh, pop that video on I'm just gonna um, quickly see um, who else is, has joined us I can't read all the comments because you're such a chatty lot I say this every time but what I will say is give us the thumbs up if you haven't done this yet I know there are more of you watching than we've got thumbs up at the moment give us the thumbs ups on the video tell all your friends to subscribe to our YouTube channel we will do our utmost I promise you from the bottom of uh, my heart to keep you absolutely um, on track to get some new needle felting techniques um, sorted for you to keep you happy and share our happy place with you remember you can come and join us um, our our Facebook page is everyone a maker and um, it's there for you to um, share your products all the makers products all the makers makes that you've made share your ideas with us how you where you have taken our ideas and um, we're there to support you we we are working almost round the clock Monday to Monday um, so sometimes we have to sleep as well but we are we all we want is for you to um, stay in a positive space learn some skills do a bit of stubbing, keep your hands really busy and empty your mind, get it all out and just do a little bit of mindless crafting with us and, and end up with uh, something beautiful. If you've never needle felt it before, the subscription boxes are right up your street as well. Right, I'm going to switch over now. Um, wish me luck um, to see if this um, tutorial actually works. Okay, and I um, go on silent now, but hopefully you can hear it too. Hello, this is Sophie from The Makers, I'm coming to you from the past. Um, it's currently November 2020 and I'm pre-recording some videos for your um, Makers box unboxing. Um, it's cu we're currently still in lockdown here, hopefully that's ended by the time you watch this video. Um, and the bump is still currently a bump, but if all gone, has gone well by the time you see this I'll be knee deep in nappies. So, um, if you are still in lockdown, we've got plenty of um, crafts to keep you crafting, so I will get on and show you how to um, put the legs in our owl. So, with your January owl project, he stands up tall on his legs. Um, so the legs are made of wire, they are wrapped with wool, and then the wool has a little bit of PVA glue added to it to um, make it a bit more 
kind of scaly, a bit more like bird's legs. Um, to get your owl to stand up, because he's quite a big bird, um, you need to get the wire in and then balance him. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So to put um, wire legs in your um, large birds, there's a few things that you'll need. You, you'll need a um, felting needle, you'll need your legs first of all, you'll need something to poke a hole with. Now a, a thickish, well this is a four and a half millimeter knitting needle, they're absolutely brilliant, but you can use um, anything if you've got an awl, you can use that. I have been even known to use a, like a biro before, don't worry if you get a little bit of pen on your make, um, you can always cover it up with a bit of wool. You need um, some glue to glue the legs in and a little bit extra wool to make some bloomers for your for your birds so I'll show you that te technique shortly so I'm gonna take my legs um, obviously yours will be a lot neater than mine this is one of my uh, sample um, birds so he's, he's um, not as neat as he could be but he'll do for a demo so the legs would probably be covered with wool right up to about here but for the purposes of today this is fine so you want to stand your owl up imagine he's standing on the table and hold the legs against the owl where do you want um, the legs to sit so they're not going to be sort of up on the chest and they're not going to be right down by the tail I think sort of here is a good place for them to sit so I'm going to make my holes um, around there and you need to make two holes, one for each um, arm of the leg and with about half of the body's width between the legs so they're not both close together and they're not far apart, they go straight in like that. So take your um, awl or your knitting needle whatever you're using and you need to push it into the wool now this this owl with being a demo is quite loosely felted so I'm able to sort of easily wiggle the needle in but if you're struggling the trick is to put the put the needle or the awl in and then actually kind of wind it around so you're moving the fibers out of the way as you push the needle in so it's almost like you're stirring the wool to make that hole. Make a nice wide hole. That'll make it nice and easy to get your um, legs in. So remember just sort of stirring that wool to make that hole. And then your legs in theory should just slip straight into that hole. Doesn't always work that well first time, but here we go. So once your legs are in, just carefully hold the owl just check that it actually stands up. If it's tipping forwards a lot, you may need to reposition the legs or even just or even just bend them. So bend the owl back on the legs so he sort of sits back a bit. But I think they're in a good position. If he's tipping backwards, again, move, um, bend the legs the other way. Try and counterbalance him. So I'm happy with that position. And um, now I'm gonna put some glue if you've got glue with a, s a small nozzle like this, it works really well. And you put that alongside the wire. So I'm actually putting it into the hole where the wire has gone in. Giving it a good old squeeze, make sure plenty comes out. And again on the other leg. Like that. So I've got a little bit of glue in each hole. I've gone as far as I could with the nozzle of the glue, so there's glue sort of inside the body as well. And then you can give the legs a little wiggle just to help distribute that glue. Check again that he's standing up. Yep. And um, ideally leave the glue to dry, but um, today I'm just going to get on with the bloomers. So this is um, why, why you need your wool. When, once you've put the wire in, it's still quite wiggly, still sort of lots of wobble there. And um, so if you use wool to wrap around the tops of the legs, 
I'm just going to tease this out into a bit of a longer strand. It can be fairly thick on a, on a bigger bird like this. And then I'm going to wrap the wool and I'm going around this wire here. So I'm almost putting a, a pair of pants on this owl with this wool, giving it a bit of dignity because he didn't have much before. With those scrappy legs. So I'm just wrapping it around. You don't have to do this super tightly. Um, you can just sort of let the fibres be where they want to be. And then maybe before you finish completely wrapping it, start felting those into place. So what this is going to do is give it a lot of stability. So we're sort of thickening up the, almost giving the top of the le legs muscles to help it stand up. So just felting around there. It feels like I need maybe a bit more wool. And I'm going to go for it with a bit of a coarser needle actually. Get right in there. So I'm going right in, going right alongside the wire. Just be careful you don't hit the wire because your um, needle could bend or break. Just standing around. The more different angles you go from the um, the stronger the attachment is going to be. So if you imagine the fibres are sort of going from all different directions and locking together, that's going to make a really strong join. So just keep felting that down and those legs already will feel a lot less wobbly. So you would do that on the second leg as well, firming it up even more. And what you find as you're doing this, you get these two quite sort of quite distinct, um, strange looking bobbles on the body, like little strange growths at the top of the leg. So what you can do afterwards is to blend those um, in so it's a bit more of a seamless finish. So just quickly stabbing those in. So you can already feel or see that that's a lot firmer than it was before. When he stands up, there's much less of a wobble. So to blend those little dots in, those little bobbles in, you're just going to take some more of your um, wool, your white wool, or whatever colour your bird is, um, and then lay it onto those bobbles. So you're sort of blending it in, making a nice seamless finish. And you basically just keep dabbing. Remember going from all different directions. Remember you, you're fixing the wire inside there. So you're sort of working around the wire, helping the fibres to kind of um, hold the wire in place as you push them in. Adding a little pinch here and there wherever you need to blend bits in. He's looking a lot more dignified now. He's got his owl bloomers on. And there you go. There you go, you can't see the bottom of him, but he does stand up very well by himself now. <laughs> and that is how you put wire legs that you've made yourself into a bird. Thank you for watching. Back to Steffi. Oh my goodness, was that a smooth thing or what? <laughs> I'm well impressed with myself. It worked. And I had time to chat with you guys too. This has just been... Um, a completely new experience. I think 
I'm going to have to um, do lots of these video inters interspersing moments so that I can uh, get up and walk around and feel like, um, yeah, feel like a pro. Thank you for, um, I don't know, thank you for the, um, for the technical god up there who's obviously <laughs> had a kind eye on me today. So um, yes, yeah, so hopefully if you're not sold onto the owl now, this is definitely sold uh, you onto it because it is a fantastic project. It is um, one of those that I think we see many, many wonderfully made owls uh, popping up all over the place um, on Facebook and, um, and everywhere else. So do share your projects. Remember, we run subscription competitions every month so you can even win something if you show us your owl. And we run them um, a little bit longer than the whole of January so that um, our friends from further afield have chance to catch up if they get their box a bit later or if, you're, if you've been busy doing other things. So um, watch out for this on Every Wanamaker, our Facebook group. And um, if you haven't joined yet, do join the group. Uh, we ask you three questions, which please answer as well. Otherwise, we can't let you in. And they're, they're not bad questions. They're really easy. We just need to make sure that you are in the right place. Um, so, yes, so that is the owl. I can see that being a total hit. Um, I, I've all, I always thought it's going to be a really, really good project, that one. So nice little owl there. She's going to watch the rest of the, um, of the live stream now. And um, I'm going to go next. Let's go and have a look at the surprise box next. Well, I'm going to have a look at the surprise box. So this surprise box is, box is uh, titled People. People as in you and me, that kind of people, which um, we love the surprise boxes. Remember, there is never a, a set of instructions in there. So you are completely free to uh, create whatever you would like. Let your creativity run wild. I should also mention Alicia is not here today, but she, um, Alicia runs Zoom um, classes or not classes, um, get togethers so that, um, so that you can join her and she makes she makes the um the the projects in the boxes for all three subscription boxes and um it's always lovely to see what um you all make together so again um you will find alicia on facebook you will find the dates that we publish um for her zoom um get togethers there as well and everybody's welcome to join her and it's free so if you need a bit of support or you just want to meet a, a lovely community a lovely stabbing stubby community then alicia is the one to get in touch with and of course we're also there so to support you if you ever have any questions now surprise box Ooh, ooh, like that got a newsletter as you always do you actually get some, um, often you get some really nice tissue paper in there. So this one here has got hearts on it because it's all about love, 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 love. And then what you get in your um, surprise box, and I will just flash this up quickly, you get a, a piece of paper that gives you the contents and it gives you a little bit of a story behind it. Now, some of the contents that you get in the surprise book is brand new. Nobody's Nobody can buy it. It's something specially for you. And we sometimes we um, add it later to our repertoire or maybe we don't. But um, yes, there is definitely some new stuff in there that uh, looks very exciting. Just do it quick. There you go. That's it. And um, I will I, I've never been allowed to show the contents of the surprise box because Sophie's always like, no! And um, I'm really, really scared of Sophie. So I didn't, never did it, but I'm going to let you have a quick look. Um, and um, I'm being naughty. It's like when the cat's out of the house, where's the camera gone? Oh, there. Okay, I'm gonna let you have a quick look because I just feel like that might even entice people who don't know us at all to sign up for this box because you do get some really lush stuff in there and, um, and nice things in there. We are very generous um, in, in all of this. So let's have a quick, quick look. Just um, take it in. Don't, I'm not letting you look too long, but um, of course it stays on YouTube. I'm just saying in case you needed to pause that button and look again. Um, and that's basically the surprise box themed people um, so you have um, skin colors in there of various types and um, yes let's see what you're making so excited um, to see your makes um, what comes out of it 
and the the topics of the um, surprise boxes, the future topics, they you can find them on our um, on our website. We always sort of try and give you three months um, of a heads up or two months ahead, and um, and that's it. So that's our twenty third um, surprise box. Um, yes. So hopefully that has given you an incentive to subscribe to the surprise box. And um, if you want to see what people have done in the past, again, go onto our um, Makers uh, Facebook page called Everyone a Maker. Scroll down and see um, what people have made from the past surprise boxes. Amazing stuff. Fantastic. And the value of the boxes is always the same. That's guaranteed. We do never. We have a budget that goes in there and we feel that, that budget always gets reached. So we don't um, one one month we have a bit less in there and one month we've got a bit more. It's always the same. It might not always look the same, but it is the same value. And that's our guarantee to you. And with this su surprise box, you can also unsubscribe anytime. You can skip boxes and you can change the payment date as well. And you can also change your personal details on on the subscription account that you will be setting up that's it basically right fairies now the fairy um, is called a love fairy um, the reason why we call it a love fairy is because Valentine's Day believe it or not is actually not that far ahead but also we just feel that if anything if 2020 has taught us anything then it is probably just finding that place in your heart that um, maybe is filled by somebody else or something else and um, and so it's it's about time we talk about love we've talked about hope we've talked about hanging in there we've talked about keeping safe we've talked about all kinds of things let's talk about love and this little fairy um, is oozing love so you get a little um, a little fabric heart that go goes with it she's got really special wings so they're they're feathers and then there's some special tulle um, fabric there as well that's sparkling um, she also has a key which she dropped but there's a little key everybody gets a little key they're, they're all different so you might not get this particular one um, because I wonder whose key um, to whose heart she is holding so if it's if it's your heart or somebody else's heart do tell us about it share your story um, of the love fairy that you have made um, as you know, we have got lots and lots and lots of tutorials on fairy making already on our YouTube channel. I will just mention a few. So if you want to know how to um, how to use the bats and tops to dress the fairy. So she's got this wonderful dress on and underneath um, it's, um, it's actually the sparkling um, the red sparkling uh, wool bats. If you want to know this, then look for the tutorial that we did on the, on the 13th of July, 2020. If you want to know how to wrap the pipe cleaners to make these arms, that's also on July the 13th um, on YouTube. And um, on the same date, um, it also tells you how to actually make the head with our mustache lollipop technique, which is um, how all of the fairies are made. You can also um, see how you, is there anything else? Um, yeah, this, so those apply to um, this particular fairy. We've, of course, I've got other style fairies as well. Now the fairy boxes are slightly different to the rest of the subscription boxes that you are actually able to buy a one-off box. If you subscribe, you save. If you buy a one-off box, then obviously you're not um, signing up to have them um, every month. But remember, with this subscription box, you too can um, cancel and um, and skip boxes anytime. So let's open this box up and have a look inside. All of the fairy boxes come in um, this thin, large letter box, so it fits through your letter box. Um, if if you um, if you have got all the fairies already, then this is number ten. Um, some of the fairies, if you haven't got them, you can buy them in retrospect um, as well. But um, it is a little bit of a collection that's going on here. If you uh, want to know what other tutorials we've got on our YouTube channel, there is a playlist on there as well, so you can look specifically what um, what what is on there right I'm gonna open this box now I'm gonna go onto the overhead camera so you can um, see better and let's have a look inside okay so there's the fairy box number 10 love fairy and 
incidentally, we have just listed um, a guardian angel, which is a new uh, a new fairy that we haven't had as part of our fairy um, subscription boxes. And we've also brought back the Forget-Me-Not fairy um, on popular demand. It's always been a really popular one. You get your fairy box newsletter in here as well. You're also part of the sub club, which is also um, with a surprise box or so any of our subscription boxes. We tell you what you're getting next month, month which is the Amethyst Fairy. <coughs> um, and um, then, you, of course, you get the instructions. Now, if you are a brand new subscriber or you buy a one off box, you always get the basic shape for angel fairies and figures instructions because that basically makes um, the basic body shape of many of the uh, different uh, fairies that you are making and including the hanging fairy, a standing fairy, a legged fairy, um, you could make a mermaid or maybe um, we, ha we have a tutorial of how to make Joseph or maybe you just want to make um, a figure, a standing figure. And um, there are other um, characters there as well. So you get that um, with with your first subscription box and then you refer to it on the consequent boxes or you get it as a one-off purchase box anyway. You get, as with um, the, the maker's box, you get your instructions that has got a tape measure here on the side. We Again, we use centimeter measurements so you have um, you have it all handy there and uh, the instructions you start out with the basic instructions and then you change over to um, these in the first box of the of the um, fairy instructions the specific fairy instructions it tells you how far you've got to go with the basic instructions and what you've got to adapt slightly then of course you've got um, a wing shape here because you're cutting the tull um, into that um, shape. You don't have to cut it that shape, you can do whatever you like. I love to see when we get uh, different um, fairy um, varieties and people sort of adding little details or, or changing details. So what's special about this fairy is that you're getting um, little feather wings. In there too you get your decorations, the little hearts, the little padded heart. You also get embroidery thread because this fairy has actually got um, eyes and the mouth embroidered onto it. Again, you don't have to do this. You you can have a fairy without a face, which is often the preference uh, what a lot of people are doing. But if you want to um, embroider a face onto her, then you can do so. You get the embroidery thread in the box. There's the little hearts that you get as well that you can glue into place um, wherever you prefer putting them. And um, And so that's all in there. You get, in every box, you get a medium felting needle. Um, there's very little needle felting and you don't need a felting mat, but you do get a, a medium felting needle in there. You get, this is a new um, style, a new technique of, um, of hair. And this is what I'm going to demo on in a minute, how to um, give her that, that lovely hair, which is made from a boucle, more hair yarn. So it's, it's, it's something special, it's quite precious. And of course you get <clears throat> your tulle fabric that has got the sparkly, um, you can see it, oh, I'm such a magpie, I love sparkly bits, always have to have sparkling things. Um, you get your sparkly red um, shimmer um, wool bat for her petticoat or undercoat. Um, this white wool is um, to make the head, then the pink wool is for the um, for the head and the, the um, arm, uh, the hands, and then you've got this beautiful, very soft, this is an Australian merino, it is the softest wool on the planet, an Australian merino wool top that comes in this um, different uh, multicolored red tone. And you get your pipe cleaner, which you need to make um, the head and the arms. Right, I'm going to put some of this back in here again, because I'm just going to need, for now, I need the hair. And I will show you how to give the fairy this lovely hairdo. Now the fairy that I've prepared hasn't got um, a face embroidered on her. Um, so we do have um, a tutorial for that as well. So you can look that up another time. So what um, happens with all of the hair that we attach to the fairies, we tend to start by framing the face because that seems sort of a vital part of the fairy to get that straight, um, to get that right um, straight off. And all I need is a felting needle now. Oh, I'm just going to use the one from the kit here. Right. Um, 
I have got one here, but I think that's a coarse one and I really don't want a coarse one. Let's use the one from the kit to prove it works. And all you're going to do is you're felting the um, start off by just stabbing the end of the yarn into the side of the head. You don't have to cut anything off. You can literally just um, use the, the yarn as it is and work your way around the fairy's head. Now, just stab it in as you go. You've got plenty of this, so you don't need to be um, stingy in any way or form. Make sure you cover the head well. Remember, you've got a wire running through the top of the head, so try and avoid stabbing into that um, straight on and um, work your way around the side of the head. And then what I do is I usually go onto the other side because I want to make sure that the, the head is, um, the face is framed first. Um, so I'm working my way around the other side and all I'm doing is I'm just taking the yarn as I need it and stab it into the head as I'm going around the head. Um, you can also um, sort of lay it out so that you cover a larger area by just laying it out like that when you get to uh, a, um, a, a broader area that you want to cover faster. I love this color as well. It is a beautiful sort of <clears throat> auburn um, color hair that goes perfectly with this maybe quite hot-headed um, love fairy that um, holds the key to somebody's heart. Um, so maybe maybe this is the time to um, make it for somebody or maybe it is maybe you remember somebody by making this maybe you've got some very fond memories of somebody or maybe you just want to tell somebody you love them why not it doesn't have to be Valentine's Day let's do it any day every day um, so you can see I am stabbing into the head but I don't <clears throat> actually need a felting mat because I'm not going that deep and I'm starting to build now the back of the head up. So at the moment, you don't know what's the front and what's the back, but um, in a minute you will know because I'm covering all of the back now. Um, make sure you lay the fairy down so that she doesn't get too much pushed out of shape and just cover all of the um, head on the back now. So you, uh, especially if you've embroidered into, um, into the face, you will have the end um, bits of the of the embroidery thread coming out at the back of the head so you really want to make sure that that is covered well and um, you don't suddenly see a bit of red or, or brown poking through. So cover the, all of the back and I'm just doing it as I go along. Like I said you have got plenty of this boucle yarn. Um, bearing in mind we will do like a top knot on the on the, like a little bun on the fairy as well so maybe um, don't go completely crazy on it um, but definitely you have enough to cover the head consistently there we go so now you have um, made the um, the head the back, covered the back of the head if you want to make the face smaller you can do this still with the yarn that uh, the boucle yarn that you've got here just bring it to the front stab it in it's really really easy to um, to use this because it's sort of it's very forgiving and then you can actually uh, if you want to make the face a little bit smaller you can frame it a bit um, closer to the face put the hair around like a frame so you can do this later still we we will be giving her um, a bit of a fringe as well well you don't have to but you can but for now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna finish it here cut the boucle yarn for the first time there you go she's now got a, a quite a short hair cut and now I'm going to use the end new end of the of the um, yarn I'm gonna wrap this around one finger or maybe two fingers whatever works for you to roll it into um, just into literally into a ball like that and then give it a few wraps so that it goes around and then you put this on top of her head and you felt that down just so that um, you've got it established stab around the edges I haven't cut this um, the yarn off I'm just giving her this sort of top bun or you can put it further towards the back of the head she doesn't have to have it on top of her head and then you can go around it a little bit more so make it a bit more like a bun and 
stub it down again, stub all over. Doesn't need a lot of stubs because it's not going to be like a solid feature on top of her head. Cut the yarn off. You still got some yarn left, so if you want to give her sort of some longer strands on the side of the head, you can do that too. Just stub these in individually and let them hang down a bit longer and cut them off. So as if she's got quite a messy hairdo. Um, and you can do this all around. And then to finish her um, her hair off, you can just use a tiny, you, you separate this out for, um, at the beginning, it tells you in the instructions, but you use a tiny bit of this beautiful yarn, just a small strand, because you also have to separate a bit out of this to tie around her waist for, um, to tie the, the, the top together that you put over her. And all you do is you just wrap that around her bun of times if it's long enough or maybe just once and then just knot it on one side so it looks like she's just in a rush tied her messy hairdo together and there she is she's got a, um, a top a top bun here you can put it further to the back if you want to but this is basically how she will look like um, especially if you give her a little face um, on this one here I've made her um, I've brought the wool in even a bit more, which of course you can still do because I've still got wool left here and just um, and, and frame her face a little bit smaller. This is your design. You do what you like. You can give her a fringe as well. Um, and, um, and that's basically how you attach the boucle yarn, which is what we're using here. It's a boucle mohair yarn. We do sell this separately for our doll making supplies, but it's also working really well for anything to do with uh, fairies and giving them some hairdo. It comes in different colors. So um, that's basically what you do by attaching the boucle mohair yarn onto the fairy to make give her a, a lovely hairdo. Right, so that's um, the three subscription boxes all covered now. Um, I will give you a sneak preview to next month because if you're uh, committed to subscribing and we thank you very, 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 very much, especially for uh, those who have been with us from the beginning. Um, it's our fourth year coming up to subscription boxes um, and uh, the, fa the fairy box has been one of the recent additions, additions which um, we will make a full loop like 12 months. Um, I think it's March this year and then April will be number 13. So thank you so much for subscribing and um, of course we want to show you what's happening in the future. So the Makers Box next month is going to be the, the Valley Sheep with her lamb. Um, it's quite a cute project. Again, you might have spotted we're using that uh, boucle yarn in a natural color, which currently we don't sell on our website. So this is something that's exclusive for those who are getting the subscription boxes. And you can make both and um, the sheep has got wire legs so you can pose them and the lamb is just lying down. So that's coming up next month. And then ooh, she's fallen over. Next month, we're going to do an amethyst fairy. Oh gosh, sorry, that was the amethyst that's just fallen down. <laughs> I haven't glued it on, but she's quite cute. She's very purple and she's got um, dangly legs here as well. And we've gone um, back to making her wings um, out of Angelina fiber. So you've got all of this to look forward to. She's got beautiful um, beads in her hair. She has got another um, uh, featured um, feature here with that tall sparkly tall in, in the in the purple and uh, she's got Angelina fiber wrapped around her legs as well so that's just a, um, a quick preview for next month just to show you it's definitely worth your investment and your time because we keep you we keep you busy with new techniques, new projects and uh, beautiful creations. And please do share what you have made. We always love to see it. And I'm just going to have a quick look to see who else is um, watching here and what the time is. Oh, I'm actually not bad time wise. So remember to come and join us next um, Tuesday for the, can you see him? Our polar bear. It's a three week long project. He, um, we are selling the polar bear, oh, there he is, the polar bear pack that comes with the skis and uh, the wool to make the polar bear, you, you use your own wool to do the bobble hat. And um, 
We've still got the packs available. Um, if you quick and you order it so that it comes fast, then you might be able to um, do it live alongside. But remember, all of our um, tutorials, all of our live streams, they stay on YouTube. You can rewatch them anytime in your own pleasure, in your own leisure, um, whenever you feel like it. And hopefully they give you pleasure. And um, um, so that's happening as of next week. And that is always our make alongs at 1 p.m. on Tuesdays. And uh, so there will be um, three coming up for the rest of this month. And then uh, in February, we're doing it's all about doll making. And in March, it's um, making a large standing chicken. She's about that tall. And that will be a longer project as well. And uh, soon we will be releasing the uh, packs that you can buy um, to make her um, as well if you don't want to use or don't have your own supplies to do this. All of our make-alongs have got a description on our YouTube, um, on the YouTube, um, what's it called? Well, on, on that particular U YouTube live stream advanced notice and it tells you what materials you need. So we don't keep that as a secret. If you have the materials yourself, use your own. Remember those, those tutorials are a gift to you to keep you um, busy and keep your hands busy and keep your mind um, away from everything else that's happening potentially around you and get that tiny, tiny moment of bliss and share our happy place. And uh, it's always lovely to see you. I will just at the very end tell you a funny story, um, which doesn't uh, put me in too good a light. But it's my daughter's birthday, um, obviously always on the 1st of January. And uh, she was turning 18 this year, which was a very special birthday and very sad because we couldn't do anything other than celebrating with our in our family. And uh, I did a last minute um, last minute shopping and I was absolutely delighted to see a bottle of champagne, good quality champagne that um, was a vintage one and it was her birth year. So I thought, this is amazing. I never thought I'd find her birth year as a, as a champagne. It wasn't outrageously expensive, so it was affordable as well. So I bought it and um, and I was very pleased. She doesn't drink, by the way, but I thought she can just keep it as a, as a I don't know, memorabilia. That was her 18th birthday during lockdown. And um, she unwrapped it on her birthday. And I said, look at it. It's really special, Romy, look at it. And she said, yes, I can't see. She, I think she was expecting it to be uh, personalized with her name. And I said, look at the date, look at the date. And she said, 2002, 2002, what, what should it mean to me? I said, it's your birth year. And she said, no, mom, I was born in 2003. Okay, so I do know the age of my children. I know when they were born. I just somehow temporarily forgot. But there's a lot going on, so I um, cut myself some slack and we just had a good laugh at it. And um, I think my children are wondering if I'm losing it. But um, don't we all? So on this note, stay safe. Check in with us. Share what you have made. Let us um, enjoy your creations too. Don't keep them to yourselves. Everyone a maker on Facebook. Um, and um, and I hope that you all are going to kick this 2021 um, off in the right spirit. Don't let things get to you. Remember the good things that surround you. Hold on to them and, um, and do something nice for somebody else because that uh, if nothing else, that always gives you a good feeling. So don't get overwhelmed by all the doom and gloom. It will get better. And we're here by your side. So let's let's do this together. And um, sending you lots of love. Oh, yes. And uh, I did say that polar bear next Tuesday at 1pm. Okay, see you then. Bye, everybody.